Rip, 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 rip it up. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Crash Flow. Sunday evening, NYC. My favorite night to go out because it's always so quiet. Everybody tries to go to get some rest early, but everybody knows Sundays are for jazz, reggae, and dance hall. So I love Sunday nights. I'm out lurking around and I found this crazy wheat paste of Ben. And I love this right here, man. This is Ben Ramers, RIP, love the dude. Friend of mine, teammate, was a great guy, passed away a year ago. And when I see this, it just hits me in the heart, you know? Ben was uh, one of the most talented kids I ever met in my life. And here's a better view, boom, right there. In loving memory of Ben Ramers. I miss the guy and I just love seeing this on the wall like this, but I want to find out the guy who made this, I'm curious about this. His name's Paper Skaters, and he's a good friend of mine. He started making these a couple years now, or I don't know, five or six years ago. He's been doing it for a while. They're all over New York City. They're all over the world. I've really seen them. And it's getting bigger and bigger, and it's just a unique thing for uh, to see we Pace, but with just skaters doing sick tricks. So I love this Paper Skaters, and I've been trying to track this guy down for like months now. It's hard to bring it up with. You know how graffiti you guys are and stuff. So we'll see if we can find them. If anybody knows, give me a hint. Let me know. And as Chris Roberts say, we are back. Finally got a hold of paper skaters. I'm about to go meet him right now. I'm just riding my bike through Brooklyn. And uh, it's a beautiful day out here in New York City. He waves over, end of summer, let's go. Supposed to meet up with the famous paper skaters over here. I know, he's supposed to, I'm waiting for the guy, I don't know where he's at. He's supposed to pop up any minute now. Paper skaters, Dr. Z? Soldier, soldier. Soldier? Paper skaters, Dr. Z, Zara Bassett, huh? I didn't what up, even what up, what know. What up? Yeah, thanks, man. How you doing, yeah. how you doing? Yeah. good? Good, right. how are you? All right, good. So, all right, let's check it out. Soldier. Soldier. This is the Dr. Paper Dojo. What's this, a DRZ right there? That's a little teens belt. All right. This is uh, not fully set up, but I moved in a few months ago. I'm kind of organizing all my stuff that I've been hoarding for years. And yes, yeah, where we're at right now. Another photo of Ben, classic. You shot that, right? Yeah, I was, um, we were actually where the hell were we? We were at some like wrestling match in South Korea. Um, wow. Yeah, that's a great, great memory. And then we got Louie over here. We got Louie and Ben. Um, that was in to Baltimore, I believe. That was like filming for Purple. Wow. I like that photo. What else we got? So when did you when did you start shooting photos? I feel like I remember you've been. Sh it feels like you've been shooting photos. For a long time. I kind of like got into it when I first started traveling through skating. Um, probably when I, well, it kind of, it actually started when, it actually started when I was um, younger skating, still living in Chatham where I grew up. Um, this company came through our local skate park and wanted me to send a sponsor me tape to them. So I was like, fuck, how the hell am I gonna do that? So I ended up getting a video camera and like finding a fisheye and taping it on because that's what like you're supposed to do. I like, you know, so I got that set up and then I would film my friends. My friends would film me. We were making sponsor me videos and then it got me super hyped on, on photos. So I was like, dude, I need to get a camera. Like, so then I got psyched on that. And at that point, like from having the video camera, I started traveling because I was sending sponsor me tapes. So they're asking me to kind of go on trips. So then when I was on these trips, there was so much shit happening that I get back from these trips and like didn't remember anything because every it was so new and so many so many emotions and just like all this shit happening where I was like I need a fucking camera so I can remember like all this shit so that's how like shooting photos kind of started for me. Let's see some old photos. You got to, or old anything photos? else? I have tons of. Because I feel like as long as I can remember, you've been shooting photos. Like I, like yeah, and I'm very like fucking. Oh, there's the sick one of Brian Brown. You shot that one. Those you are on? some of my favorite ones. Yeah, that's Brian and then Jimmy on top. I shot Brian Brown. I like that one. Thanks. That was shot. Oh, that's on Robbie. Yeah, uh, that's Robbie. I don't know if you can see that good. Robbie getting Jimmy. I don't trade with the fake. What, what year was that? 
it's shot on an old camera, so it looks way older, but those were probably like five years ago or maybe a little longer than that, actually. That's sick. Six years ago or so. Um, but yeah, I went back and forth with photos and like, I just kind of like... And then when did you start writing? Because that was like... That was Random. Like, we <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I copies. You're talking about. You're talking about. Uh, so basically, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, okay. so I was looking into just all these things that you know that weren't in the town. So then skateboarding pretty much led me into like these kids like would be catching tags and shit. I'm like, dude, what what's like that marker all about? Like, what are you doing? And they're like, oh, it's, it's graffiti, dude. Like, so I learned that through the dudes I met that were originally I looked up to through skating. And it was just this whole culture that was like invisible in like where I grew up. So I was so like kind of pulled into it. Mm -hmm. And then when I started skating for Zoo York, I remember going to the zoo office when they were on 13th Street in the meatpacking district. And um, like the company is based off of like Zoo York Soul Artists. So that was like a big introduction to like a more like legit like knowing that people wrote the same name all over the place like i knew like oh graffiti like drawing on something with a marker but i didn't realize there was like a name and like you find spots and you like i didn't know that you know the whole thing so then when i go into zoo like that guy stay high for uh stay high 149 would always be there and uh dave ortiz who worked at zoo at that time was like really into graffiti eli gezer one of the original owners was like had a sick hand style so i just kind of started messing around and I remember Dave would draw like a chicken bone and it was super sick and he'd write meat. And I remember just being like, dude, that's fucking so sick. And then the Stay High 149 character was like the stick figure smoking. So I ended up doing like, I copied his shit and my first thing was like a stick figure with two middle fingers. And that was like sick. my first little like tag that I was like messing around with. Um, I feel like you can't live in New York and not surround yourself by graffiti writers, basically, especially if you skate, right? Yeah, and it's like you're walking down the street and it's like you just see things and it's impossible not to like, well, for me anyways, like I couldn't imagine walking by like all these colors and all this stuff and not looking at it and thinking like, what is this? Why is it here? Who did it? Why did they do it? Like all that shit, like we walk through the street and that has kind of like, um, you know, started with the skating and then like the photography and then seeing graffiti and then, so I think that's what you wanted to talk about. So then the paper skaters thing started through, that's perfect. all right, but it's... so then kind of like in my head, I was just kind of like, all right, like I was never like out every night doing graffiti. It wasn't really my thing. I was just really interested in it. So then I kind of like came up with the idea. I'm like, oh shit, like fucking, I need to use my photographs more to like express like these things that I'm like, these creative ideas. So then once I started doing that, um, it kind of just opened my mind to not being stuck like, oh, this is a photograph. This needs to be hung at a photo show. And yeah. This bullshit and like, just, just realizing there's no rules. <clears throat> now I'm kind of trying to like mix, you know, the stuff I've learned through graffiti and painting and kind of mixing it all yeah, together. Yeah, it's like you had an evolution to get to the paper skaters. It was <laughs> yeah, photography of, yeah. and then the it's graffiti. Funny how it's all and then... like linked together and uh, I kind of feel like it's just the beginning. I feel like I'm like, okay, now that I figured all this out, like you have now any... it's kind of like go time. Like now I want to start creating shit that I have in my head, but I'm still kind of learning techniques and this and that. So it's like... So you have any paper like... skaters we could check out here or some... Uh, yeah, I don't, like, I mean, you know, most of them are down the street, so that was kind of... Oh, yeah, main, this is basically... So that was kind of the main thing, well, I was going to move this, but this is, like, so, the paper skaters thing is originally, you know, you shoot the photo of someone skating, print it out, you know, preferably, like, life-size, and then you find a spot where it fits, like, to scale, mm -hmm. and the perspective is right, and it's supposed to look like somebody's, you know, skating in the street. So this um, is like a this is like a street. So you're gonna put somebody. Yeah. So in there. basically, like, I got arrested. Like, kind of when I first started doing it, because I mean, I had been arrested for graffiti a handful of times, and I was like, dude, wheat pasting, like, wheat pasting. That one's sick too. Huh? Wheat pasting isn't fucking. You know, you're not gonna get arrested. So basically, when I got arrested, I made this made this fake street scene just so I could kind of like pretend like I was still doing it, and then it kind of opened my ideas to like creating these and I started doing some stop motion stuff with sequences mm -hmm. and then that led me into like just printing stuff and then so I used like the classic uh, priority mail stickers and then I used an image and I printed these stickers out one by one. Wow. <laughs> this shit took so fucking long. Is that Ray Barbie? Yeah this is Ray Barbie. That's so sick. 
So I printed them out wow. one by one, like oh. a fucking puzzle piece. Bomba clot. <laughs> and then I pieced them all wow. together. Let me see this one. And so it's wild because at first I'm like, okay, like you print them all out and then you just put them all over. But the way that they get printed out, like some of them go under, some of them go over. So like the process to like put this together was like such a pain in the ass. But wow. I'm like, I want to do more with this because now that I have like the original one. That's so sick, right? Shoot Barbie. the photo and then print it as one and then paste it on the street, which is what I've what I've been planning on doing. Which I And how long you've been I did with this one, <clears throat> How long you been doing the paper skaters now? Um, I feel like I had the idea and I was kinda just like doing it a little bit. I think I started maybe like six years ago. But I feel like now is kinda like where I'm finally like even realizing what I've been doing and it's kind of like all connecting and I'm just um yeah it's just an ongoing thing it keeps what is this so this is one more piece it's obviously a jersey barrier uh. um, and this okay. wow who's that this is my cat You got a two for one. A two for me, yeah. So that's like that, and then it would sit behind it. Kind of get the idea. So he's like airing it on the other side. So it'd be something like that. That's sick. Is, Over the barrier. He's going like like doing like a front side alley on the barrier. Yeah. So he's like coming up that way and then coming back sick. on the opposite side. That's so sick. So yeah, just fucking coming up with ideas. And it's funny because it's like a lot like skating, like Skating, you think of a trick you want to do, and then it's like, okay, maybe you go to the skate park and you learn the trick, or you know, you get more comfortable. So then you're like, okay, I did the trick for the first time, like, fuck yeah, sick, like, I feel great. But then it's like, okay, now I need to find a spot in the streets to do this. So it's like, similar to finding a skate spot, you find it's a the paper same skater spot. Thing. <laughs> it's like you come up with the idea in your head, and then you, you know, you make it happen. So it's really. A, like a very similar <clears throat> process so i'm very familiar with it and it's yeah it's been fucking fun that's sick so what about now though i feel like i've been seeing you do some different stuff too like more making your own art even different from paper skaters now people don't even know yeah well these are like some you got anything paintings. else so this is like kind of what happened so originally I was like, fuck, I want to like m play with paint more and kind of learn to have these images in my head of mixed media with like my photographs mixed with like paint and layers and just, you know, mixed media shit. So I started messing around and this was kind of the first thing I wanted to- Dude, that's sick. I that's wanted, the first one you did? Yeah, I wanted it to look like ripped paper. So I took like blue painter's tape and just kind of ripped it and created these things that I thought would look like ripped paper. And so this was like the beginning of like that. So I did that and I was like, damn dude, like it, it just got me hyped. I liked it. I liked looking at it. I wasn't sick of it. So I did that one. So I was like, okay, this is cool. Like the painting is cool. I like it. <laughs> That's sick. That's your first one. So that was the first one. But I mean, it's like, you know, it's taped and it's not like, you know, it's considered, I mean, that's the thing I was saying earlier. Like there's no fucking rules. I want to fucking create shit and I don't fucking care. So then I started, I did a few more ones. That one's sick too. Colors. I kind of went with this color scheme just because it was the only thing I had at the time. <clears throat> so then after doing these, like now my, now my kind of like brain is like, okay, so you got kind of these things going. So now I kind of want to <clears throat> use this into, so these are basically like, the first ones that I'm kind of just messing around with, but kind of incorporating, you know, like the graffiti in with the painting, and then I'm going to add like the photographs to them. So these are kind of just like sick little backgrounds that I'm prepping to then eventually like paste some photos to and then probably paint back over. And just I'm not really too sure yet, but I'm this is kind of where I'm working towards and I'm experimenting with. What about I saw some ones that you did that were like. It was like art and paper skater, like some, some really <clears throat> trippy ones. I'm like, I think you framed some. Oh, like not skate ones? Yeah. Just come out of the dojo for a second. I'll be right back. 
Soldier, don't leave us. <laughs> so the other ones are like, this isn't really where I want to go, but this is like collages. Just... See, I really like these ones, man. I like these two because um, this is like all stuff I, you know, cut out of a magazine, whereas the things uh... I want to create are all images that I shot myself. So that's kind of like the puzzle piece of like, I'll go out one day and I'll start working on a collage. And I'm like, fuck, I need somebody walking with an umbrella. And then I go outside and I walk around all day until I find someone walking with an umbrella that I like and I shoot a photo of it. And then that's the missing piece to the Oh, uh, this one I collage. saw before and I really liked it. Wait, <clears throat> let me just get the glare up. That's Which sick. this one's kind of like on the terms of like eating like shit and the fake, you know, GMO shit these days. And, you know, that one's kind of kind of deep. I really like that. But, it's um, just creative. Yeah, I kind of want to, you know, more just... Whatever, I don't so know, what's stuff, next? Stuff Paper pops up into the brain. And I'm just trying to make it happen. And Paper skater, really as an artist. Put it out there too much. This is kind of one of the first things I've kind of done showing stuff, maybe. But it's just something I like to do, and I'm doing it. And one day I might show stuff. And so there's just like. So you went by and saw the Ramers one? Yeah. So this is like a smaller one I had in case I didn't find a, a spot that was like uh, a bit a big spot like I ended up finding. Shout out to John Powell and Forbate for uh, giving me the roll gate to do that. Sick. You don't so have this, to whip it all the way out. So yeah, this prints out and then basically... But that's how you do it. You get the scrolls so, out and you, you, know, you hit and the streets. It's fucking cut. You know, you got the cut out ones. These are small ones. And then you go around and you try to find a place where it fits to scale which is like annoying but like super fun yeah and then also there's spots where i'll find a spot where something would fit so then i'll print to size to fit the spot so there's different scenarios of mm -hmm. yeah. that's sick man what's this one up here i like this one up here too that, is that one just is just like i did that on the ipad it was kind of right when i got uh my ipad and just was kind of messing around it's just like a little paper background with this photo of a snake i found the essence of Paper skaters, right there. <laughs> Soldier. Snake eyes. Snake eyes. Snake, snake eyes. Look at you. All right, Z. That's sick, man. I'm super psyched for you. What? Uh, so, what do you got to say to to the young bucks starting out, moving Just to the city? Thing, man. Don't listen to other people. I mean, listen to other people, but like, you know, use your own brain. Don't. Just do your own. Live through your own experiences. Like, listen to people that you look up to. But like, there's no rules. You'll learn through your mistakes. It never ends. Have fun. Whether it's have skating, fun. be passionate, have fun skating, everything like just thanks, Ed. Yeah, you love you, <laughs> so, so that was it. Little QA with Dr. Paper, aka DRZ, aka Dr. Z, aka Zara Bassett. Uh, I'm really happy for him because he doesn't really talk about that stuff too much. Just a side thing he loves to do and he's real passionate about, and it, it's Amazing to me to watch how he shot photos for years, started writing, and then did paper skating, and then paper skates is like turning into, you know, he's doing his own art now. So it's just cool to see the evolution of everything. So I'm proud of the guy, and I hope he does more interviews about paper skating and his art because it's really good and it's growing. So hope you guys enjoy it. Bless up.